we started going to St John's in about 19, no, end of 1997. We've got two children. At that stage, Matthew was two and a bit, and Timothy was nine months old. And Matthew, as a small child, was always very interested and observant and keen on detail, and um, he, he, he learnt the different makes of cars by looking at the hubcaps on the car wheels. He, he was very keen on wow. detail. Um, and Dennis sort of, Dennis and Farrakha were the, the two people that really made us feel that St John's was our spiritual home. And Dennis more or less adopted the children when we got into church. And Matthew used to follow Dennis around. Dennis was church warden at that point. And Matthew used to follow Dennis around watching all the jobs. And it wasn't long before Matthew was saying, you're going to do that next, aren't you? Oh, you've done them in a different order. You haven't done that yet. And then <laughs> starts saying, okay, what am I going to do next? And what am I going to do next? And then the next week, um, he told Matthew the story of the King's Remembrancer and presented Matthew with a badge that said, Church Warden's Remembrancer. Wow. Oh, wow. And Matthew wore that badge very proudly every Sunday for years until he went into the choir and, and until the letters wore off it. Oh. I did ask him the other day if he still had it, but we couldn't find it, so I think maybe it got lost in the news. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other memory that I have again, which shows Dennis's sheer affinity with, with children and with just making everyone feel welcome, it was the Christmas carol service when Nicola would have been nearly two, so a year after we moved to St John's. And at the end of the carol service, we always have um, punch and mince pies, and we were getting ready to go home, and we'd lost Nicola. And we were going frantic, we were going all around the church, we went into the vestry, the choir vestry, looked in the choir stalls, in the pulpit, anywhere. Couldn't find it, we were going round and round in circles. And we'd been searching for a good sort of 15, 20 minutes, and eventually we found a tucked in the corner. Dennis was see, see, sitting in the corner behind the font, the big, big font in St John's. And Dennis was sat in the corner behind the font, with Nicola stood between his knees and he was just feeding her bits of fruit from the punch. Oh. And bits of mince pies. She was happy, he was happy. <laughs> and, and we were relieved. <laughs> our, our memories of Dennis is just being a really family man mm. with the family of the church, not just with his own family, but in making everybody feel that they were important to him as well. And Brilliant. our children certainly grew up knowing him almost like a surrogate granddad in church. Oh, super.